David Gilmour has one straightforward explanation for his continued support of the Pink Floyd moniker. Rock Titans David Gilmour and Roger Waters fought a bitter and protracted legal struggle in the late 1980s over their disintegrating band, Pink Floyd, a prestigious name in the music industry that Gilmour had no intention of abandoning, much to Waters' dismay. The case was a notorious turning point in the band's career as the rival frontmen squabbled over who should decide what would happen to Pink, even though Waters would later claim it was an error. Gilmore stuck to one straightforward justification for not giving up on Pink Floyd despite all the legalities and logistical aspects of the matter. David Gilmore kept Pink Floyd name for one simple reason. The more pop-savvy David Gilmore and the quirky, abstract-minded Roger Waters engaged in a constant tug-of-war during Pink Floyd's illustrious career. The notoriously irascible Waters probably still had a feeling of pride in the band he founded in 1965 with Richard Wright, Nick Mason, and Sid Barrett. Shortly after, original frontman Barrett was replaced by David Gilmour. Gilmour, however, led the band for the remainder of its incredible history, contributing his trademark guitar licks and silky vocals to Pink Floyd's greatest hits, including Wish You Were Here and Dark Side of the Moon. Gilmour defied Waters' desires and carried on without him after he left the band in the middle of the 1980s, claiming that the group was creatively spent and ready to be permanently put away. In an interview from 1988, Gilmour stated, I have dedicated 20 years of my life to establishing that reputation. To start anew under a different name, my own solo name, or anything else, and have to put in the same amount of effort that we did for so many years at the beginning doesn't really make sense to me. It does need a great deal of labor and effort to do the kind of stuff we have accomplished, and I don't see any justification for abandoning it just because one guy decides he no longer wants to do it. Following Waters' effort to sue his former bandmates and EMI Records for their ongoing use of the Pink Floyd trademark, Gilmore made these remarks. After losing the court case, Waters would subsequently acknowledge that it shouldn't have occurred in the first place. Roger Waters said he regretted his decision to sue. Roger Waters has never been one to hide his emotions. Even when Pink Floyd's members tried to continue the band following his left in 1985, on Christmas Eve 1987, the band finally reached an out-of-court settlement. In a 2013 BBC interview, little over 20 years later, Waters acknowledged that he had aired. I was mistaken. I was, of course. Who gives a damn? It's one of the few times that the legal profession has taught me something. Waters said glibly. Listen, we're broke. This isn't Pink Floyd anymore. I told these guys. What do you mean? They said. That doesn't matter. It has commercial value and is a label. You cannot simply declare it to be extinct. It is clear that you are ignorant of English jurisprudence. Although Gilmore and Waters' relationship has remained strained throughout the years, we'd argue that they both have plenty of projects to divert their attention from their feuds with their former bandmates, especially considering how successful their musical careers have been.